Hello and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your source for the finest 2A propaganda brought to you by TNVC.com. Today I want to tell you about a Florida man's bizarre use of force incident and the new poll which shows a disturbing percentage of Republicans who want to ban gun rights groups. But first I have some bad news from the Ninth Circuit. California Stan's magazine ban has been bounced around the courts for years with reversals and stays, but recently an en banc panel of the Ninth Circuit overturned St. Benitez's ruling and upheld the ban on standard capacity magazines. This ruling doesn't enforce a ban on free states like Arizona, of course, but it clears the way for all states in the Ninth Circuit to pass or enforce their own bans. Of course, this will likely be appealed to the Supreme Court, where I think it has a decent chance of being overturned, but for now, Calistani subjects will have no legal means to obtain new standard capacity magazines. A new Rasmussen poll of 1,000 likely voters found 28% of likely Democrat voters and 15% of likely Republican voters believe it should be illegal to be a member of the NRA or other gun rights groups. 32% of the blue team thinks the NRA should be officially declared a terrorist group and 14% of Republicans agree. Despite these disturbingly large numbers, only 13% of all likely voters in total said they believe NRA members are any more likely to commit a crime with a gun, and 47% admitted they believe the NRA members are less likely to do so than the rest of the population. What do these numbers mean? While disappointing, I can't say this news is exactly shocking. Unfortunately, most people want to use government violence against anything they dislike, and few people of any political flavor actually believe in individual liberty. Another major takeaway is that the overwhelming majority of normies still think the NRA is a gun rights organization and seem to be barely aware of the fact other organizations even exist. Frankly, I'm happy to let them keep beating up on the corpse of the NRA while the FPC, SAF, GOA, et al. continue to kick ass. Another unshocking takeaway is that Democrat voters are more likely to favor gun control. Uh, we try to avoid partisan politics on this channel because we want to focus on gun rights. And because when we engage in those tribalist games, we shoot ourselves in the foot. As demonstrated by these numbers, Republicans aren't that much better. We don't win the gun rights war by convincing people to be card-carrying Republicans or by gatekeeping. We win by convincing all people gun rights are human rights. We win if Democrat voters kick out control freak bums in their own primaries. We win if Democrat politicians know pushing gun control will lose them votes. If you like seeing stuff more than not seeing stuff, take a look at our sponsor, TNVC.com, your source for quality night vision gear to make you the bump in the night. Would you like to play a game? I'm going to read you two very different statements and ask you how you feel about them. First, Florida man shoots pregnant woman, or maybe I should say, a biker followed a pregnant librarian home after a road rage incident. How does that make you feel? Now, try this one. Enraged woman rams a man on a motorcycle with her car, then pulls a gun on him. How does that one make you feel? The fun part is, both of those statements are factually correct, as best I can gather from the news reports. It's a great example of how selective reporting can shape the way people think. Even if other important details are given in the text of an article, does anyone actually read articles anymore? That's so 20th century. The facts a journalist chooses to use in a headline can dramatically shift perceptions. So best I can gather, this is what actually happened. A pregnant librarian named Sarah Nicole Morales became upset in traffic and intentionally ran her vehicle into Andrew Durr's motorcycle. Durr was uninjured, but Morales fled the scene, and Durr followed along with some witnesses. She drove about a mile to her house. Durr waited in the road with the witnesses and called police. Morales went inside, 
retrieved a handgun, and then came back outside pointing the gun at Durr, at which point he drew his own pistol and shot her dead. Durr cooperated with police when they arrived, and he has not been charged as of yet. Assuming the police reports are accurate, both of those headlines I read you earlier are factually correct, but they paint a very different picture of what actually happened. I mean, normally, Following someone home is indeed pretty aggressive behavior, which could seriously undermine a self-defense claim. But in this case, the guy was the victim of a hit and run and followed only as far as he needed to. He stayed off of her property and he was on the phone with police. Now, while she might conceivably have felt threatened, it was only because she just committed a crime <laughs> And the rational response for her would have been to call police herself and stay inside of her home. Her critical error was when she came back out of the home and pointed a gun at Durr. Although Florida has no duty to retreat, if you are able to withdraw from a threat, you simply cannot voluntarily put yourself back into danger and then claim self-defense in any state, legally or morally, to the best of my knowledge. But again, I'm not a lawyer because my parents were married. What do you think? Would you have followed her or would you back off just as soon as you had the tag number? Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before you go, I just want to take the time to remind you to check and see whether you're still subscribed to our channel. Our robot overlords in the tube of yous know what we want better than we could possibly know for ourselves. So they just go ahead and unsubscribe viewers from any channels they think are expressing wrong thing like us, obviously. Now you folks out there in TV land, no censorship makes puppies cry and Captain America is very disappointed. So don't forget to check every now and then just to be sure you're still subscribed to us. While you're at it, you may as well smash that notification bell so you never miss a word of our gun rights propaganda. And if you want to get email alerts for the best deals, uh, the projects we're working on and the <laughs> hottest stuff you missed in the ARFCOM forums, you'll also find a link tree link down there in the doobly-doo for our newsletter. And remember, if you want to help us keep bringing you banger content like this, please support the folks who support us. Not only does TNVC.com give you night vision with that cool, refreshing, never bitter taste that goes down smooth, they also have mounts, lights, training, swag, and all sorts of gear to make you the bump of the night. I love you.